Isn't it like the best makeup look of 2023? The strawberry girl look did not disappoint. I figured out the best way to do these strawberry girl look. So if you guys want to get what I am, if you want to get this face, <laughs> then just keep on watching. By the way guys, my name is Michelle Bally. I am the makeup tester and today we're going to be testing a whole bunch of makeup to get the perfect strawberry girl look. So if there's anything that you like that I'm using, they will all be listed down below, but let's get into it. Okay, first we're going to start with a good skin prep. I am using oil all over my face and the Beauty of Josen Dynasty Cream to get it nice and juicy. Now I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know what this is called. It's like that really brightening stuff. It's going to make your skin so dewy and glowy, but you need to put this on before your foundation, guys. Trust me. And I'm putting this on the high points of my face, blending it out. Look how glowy I am. Now I'm using the MAC Studio Radiance Foundation. It's kind of liquidy. It's really light and sheer so it's perfect for I'm laughing I don't know why I'm laughing um, it's perfect for this no makeup makeup look I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty bronzer with this perfect refi brush guys if you do not know about this brush get it now double-ended the duo fiber makes everything so seamlessly blend <laughs> blended seamlessly look how perfect like I had a white forehead now it is perfectly blended and so is my cheekbones. Everything just blends so beautifully. Now is the fun part. Okay guys, I'm deciding which lipstick to go with for my blush. I actually ended up going with this shocking pink one. The matte lipsticks by Queen Musia, they sent me their whole line and look at how sheer the buildup is. You have a lot of time to play. You wanna make sure that you're feathering it at the edges and just dabbing it onto the skin. Pat, pat, pat lightly so that you can have time to build it up. And this is what it should look like once it's built up, okay? So you make like a C shape along the temple and the cheek and you're putting it really close to your under eye. Speaking of eyes, you're gonna take a small eyeshadow brush and carry that color onto the crease so that there's kind of like continuity within the look. We wanna go for a very monotone look. It's gonna give us like very natural, like the sun just did this. This isn't makeup, this is how I really be looking. You know what I'm saying? But lipstick will not last all day, so you do have to set it with a powder. I decided to go for a very bright pink. Uh, the camera, it was like a little overexposed, so it didn't do it justice. And now I'm gonna line my lips with Love Trap by Charlotte Tilbury. Guys, if you are anything near to my skin tone, I urge you to get this lip liner it's incredible now i'm gonna t do make this mistake of putting the lipstick actually on my lips and being like what no you know what i'm saying like what the fuck what is going on <laughs> too intense so i'm just gonna blot it off and guys it actually ended up being the perfect kind of matte blushy color for this strawberry girl look it's just very blurred and not too defined so it's not too overdone. Now I'm adding freckles. Guys, we need the seeds to our strawberries. You know what I'm saying? You need to add freckles. I know sometimes it feels weird if you haven't really done it before, but if you use a, like a eyeliner or a brow pen, then it looks really natural, especially once you pat it out with your finger. I like to put it in between my brows because that's where it naturally occurs with some people. And I like to use two different tools, two different shades because freckles come in all different colors. And this is how it's looking. Um, and by the way, guys, this is the brow pen that I used, and this is the eyeliner that I used to get that look. Like I said, it's going to be listed down below. Remember subculture? This color cube right here is perfect because it's like this white, bright white with a pink iridescence. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner of my eyes and on my nose and on my cheekbones just for a added highlight. Do not put cream on for your highlight. You have to put powder on because we have a pretty creamy base and we don't want to ruin anything. Okay, guys, I'm falling behind here. Doing my eyebrows with the best brow gel in the entire world. I used to use Patrick Ta, but no guys, this is how it'd be. And then just roll your finger, roll your finger so that your brow is flat to your face. Okay, speaking of best, this mascara, if you have brown eyes, this will make your eyes look honey colored. Something about the black makes your eyes pop. Look how light brown my eyes look against this black. Something special about it, look. No mascara, mascara. Boom, baby, that's how it looks. This is the final look. I'm running through the fields. I'm hanging up some clothes on a clothing line. I got a white dress on, I'm frolicking. That's what this look is giving me. It's basically the clean girl look rebranded. No, it makes me feel very youthful. Like right now, I'm not even, right now I have COVID. I have that right now. <laughs> but does it look like I have it? No, it does not. There was a fly. Uh, it's still alive. 
it, it, it's so loud. If you guys love blush, I want you to check out this video right here where I go over every single Patrick Ta blush in the lineup. It's a great video if I do say so myself. I will see you guys next week.